up about three years ago, blew the whole fucking thing down, almost trashed my whole back room, you know, it grew a, well, what, 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 it was so, a so, and you give one of these to Ronnie, they knock your house down, just to blow them, he gave oh, one to so my you, old lady, so you give one I play in the back garden, I'm now, I'm, I'm gonna, I got a, a payback's a bitch, right, this guy has given all these bits of plot that's gonna knock his house down, yeah, that's right, Hello. no, no, he gave us the tree to knock oh. my house down, oh, yeah. you got it backwards, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, we I, th I think, I think Ronnie must be, uh, I mean, that looks like a NASA satellite dish. Yeah. Have you, have you said you're not rocking somewhere? Look at the size of that thing. About 12 years ago, I had this chick from the Amazon naked in here swimming one night. Uh, Did you? Uh, it, ask, ask, uh, ask Ronnie about Ika Pakarari. So, Ika, Ika Pakarari. Pakarari. What does that mean? That's her name. Oh, so nice. Yeah, she used to swim in this pool. Ask, a, ask him about Ika Pakarari just for a little. So that will make him go, what? So, so you're, you're also a dirty old man then? Uh, we've, we've, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a dirty old man. Sixty-three. 
Yeah. We didn't get a lot out of this one. <laughs> yes, it's pretty. They've got some satisfaction out of it. That's lovely, yeah. yeah. So it was like if they had it was a nearly 400 quid for it. <laughs> There's loyalty for you. You know what I mean? Thanks for the present. Love it, it's lovely. But my lovely problem. I should have bought a problem. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it was a railway yeah. 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 What a man who does. Yeah, that's it. You made a connection. Ah, now we put the mechanic right Yeah, yeah, hand it. Please. Thank you. My personal assistant. Yeah. 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 That's for later. Can you repeat all what you just said? <laughs> <laughs> John, the man who See you all come back to, to, to Brazil and pay me $60 every time. All right. <laughs> right. And Rosie, for you, what a kind of feeling to be here, Rosie. It's marvelous to be back with my old, old friend. We've been boyhood friends since we were 17 years old. Prison brought us together. Freedom has brought us together this time. Thank <laughs> you. 
It was done by somebody. No, seriously. It's called, you know, tattooing. So it's like tattooing. He's doing the same thing. He's Justify your existence, Max. No, nothing, nothing at, at all. all. I'm a paranoid. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You admit oh, to us. Uh, you got to go do what George Lady likes. What do you admit to? Me, mum. You know. Your mum. He thinks I'm good. Say hello, mum. Yeah. Hello, mum. Nick, of course, is a hopeless case. Hey, Nick. I'm fine, Tony. And how you going, Linda? If you are you in there, Linda? Hello, Linda. 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 Dang, 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 dang. They haven't forgot you, Lynn. You wish you could be here, actually. Yeah, he's only saying that because he knows you're going to be watching this. What about the five brasses you got lined up, Tony? All, all with their uh, name tattooed. Do you think I want to turn this off, Lim? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Actually, uh, no. I Bruce, bet. I bet this is going to slip. Bruce and I were two old men last night. They're all fighting, and we went home. Went yeah, they all went home. Boring bastards. Well, no, they're not boring. They're kind of, you know, that's what I mean. No, you just smoke too much dope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, who was he? Well, we were talking about is he old school? Roy was saying that drugs have changed everything. But he's forty-five now, but um, he's seventies, isn't he? But he's not like he's not like you, you lot, where you had the sort of absolute respect. He was an Oxford rebel. He was an intellectual hippie who ran around the seventies, carting around loads of dope inside the music. But didn't he have the same honourable kind of intentions as as, as, as what? what? I was talking about. You mean old school and that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. He, had, he had incredibly honourable intentions, didn't he? And he actually believed that. politically that dope, was, as it's being proved to be, was smoking. Oh, yeah, no, no. How, smoking. How totally advocates what he did. Yeah. He believes that marijuana should be available to everyone. That's right, yeah. So, from that point of view, no, I saw, He never dealt with hard drugs or anything, thought, killer never, drugs, no, hate yeah, drugs. He never dealt with that. No, so I, I clipped him on the end. I just wanted yeah. to see when he was saying old school. No, he, he, he was honourable. What, what is honour, mate? He's being honourable. Totally honourable. Yeah, no, Roy's right. Where has honour gone? In the, Howard Glass yeah. falls in yeah. For Howard doing drugs, it's quite rare. Because yeah, no. It's fucked yeah, up. No, it's yeah. the game for yeah. everybody. He's very honourable, yeah. Everyone class everyone up when it comes to drugs. Yeah. Whereas Howard yeah. played it very straight. He was very gentle. Yeah. He had a casual thing. But yeah, no, Roy's right from that. He's of course, yeah. He's what you'd call this, a this, stand-up guy. Unless I'm wrong, Max. Unless I'm wrong. This, this, this conversation is, is, is about values and morality given whatever tribe it is. Yeah. And in this tribal system, they were proper values. They were values that were respected and, and you, you, you held them. Rightly or wrongly, like any set of values, they were the values you... And, and, and these guys kept to those values and honoured those values. And they got corrupted. All right, yeah, but yeah, yeah, drugs changed everything, of course. You know. Except for Aaron Marks, who was, a, who was like a, an honourable drug dealer, if you like, because he, he just dealt with dope, and, and, it, and everyone likes a bit of dope. We don't you know. want to do it. No, no. It's cool. Yeah. 
They should equalise it, really. They, well, they will. They will win. They will oh, yeah, yeah. No, but Howard is actually working for the working on a political level. On the, that's right. He goes beyond just the head, well, he and, and he does lectures, and he, go, yeah. and he goes to Oxford. But the and does thing is, he believes what he's selling isn't for personal gain. Well, it is. I suppose he enjoys yes, the publicity. Yes, cool, it? um, But it's not so much personal thing. He really believes this is a plant yeah. that grows in the earth, and everybody should be able to have it if they want. Yeah, and he's kind of hippie bullshit. And he's dead. No, it's not hippie bullshit. Come on, man. I know you're playing devil's advocate because it's been proved medically. Uh, even, even, even the medical profession wants to legalise it, for God's sake. It's non There's no one in hospitals who's smoking dope. No one. Well, no, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that he made money out of it, for heaven's sake. No, but not in, not in that. Yeah, he made money out of it because he, because he actually. Well, more than me. He actually believed what the world is now beginning to accept that it actually is a good thing. It is medicinal, but. Yeah. You make a good couple. You're just playing devil's advocate. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the good guys. I understand. He's one of the good guys. I understand that. But Nick's romanticising him, saying that, oh yeah, he's just taking it out of the ground and some kind of like hippie trip that he's on, you know. No, I'm not. And he wants to make money as well. Yeah. You know, no, that is where you are so shit. full of shit. He's made fuck no. all. This is middle class Birmingham. When he this is middle class Birmingham, boy. Listen, yeah, you know, fuck all. When he, when, when he filled out the Shepherd's Bush Empire every night, right, for a month, 1,100 people. £12 a ticket. He was making £500 a night. He doesn't give a damn about money. He's totally altruistic. Well, why did he do it in the first place then? Because it was the adventure. Did he believed it was a went. mission. He was, he was on a mission. I know that. He was fucking the system. I know that. He enjoyed I fucking the system. Yeah. He had 43 aliases at one time. Mr. Nice. 129 Mr. phone lines. Was it Mr. Nice? Yeah, he was Mr. Nice. The, yeah, the bottom nice. line is, did he do any harm? Did anyone suffer terrible no, death because of his activity? No, he probably did. He probably, he no. probably, they probably did not. Of course they did. They probably did not. No, yeah. you don't know that. A drug deal that might have gone uh, wrong, somebody might have. Well, you know, no, we're talking yeah, about dope here, for God's sake. No, but you're talking about a big rock. Worth of yeah, but big, do you know how he was doing it? Big rock bands were going on tour, not aware that... He was putting it in speakers. speakers. Well, he was putting it in speakers. Well, and everyone was in it. Yeah, good, good, good yeah, deal. Yeah, no, but I read the book and sometimes... Good deal. What, what, the first one or the second one? I don't know. Yeah. It's the first one was the best actually, I think. Yeah. Have you heard what she was saying? She's all good a girl, six feet tall, sleeps in the kitchen with her feet in the hole. Now what we're going to do, I've, I've lost, um, you lost, lost the thread, I've lost the camera. Shot. I first came to the list, these are the ladies that I adore. 
I can see that. I can see you do, yeah. And they adore you, I can see that. Yeah. Oh, 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 is it, who's Ronnie Biggs? Can you get on Biggs? Yes, it's a bit of a kid. Oh no, that's love. That's love and affection. It's the kind of humanity if you don't see much of these days, Ron. Yeah, it's easy. What are they saying, Ron? What are they saying? I don't know. Of course you do speak Portuguese. What are they saying? You know what they're saying. You speak Portuguese. No, she seems she was as old as you're saying. Oh, oh right. Well, you're an interpreter. You tell her and tell me. You know. I'm talking about, I'm talking about friendship and uh, that rare kind of quality that's going. Do you know what I mean? Communication! Communication! <laughs> oh no, yeah. So, uh, anyway, now we understand each other, see? This is the latest I I know, I can see, yeah. And this guy, and this guy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cut. Cut. The audience can only, only, only stand so much love and affection. Johnny, come on, come on, John. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, how does he do it? And Robert, how do do it? Let's give a shake back. Don't try this at home, viewers. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
accused of her doing you justice. Close the door over there. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a second echo. Oh, it's a second echo. Oh, well, you better fuck off then. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's Nuisance. <laughs> 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 
Did you hear that, Self? Come no. real. Well, that was funny, wasn't it? <laughs> if I knew the worst three I'd be a nuisance. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> Are you easy? <laughs> Are you easy? <laughs> what are you doing? little. I mean, I'm the same. Uh, well, this is what I like. If it's really that sort of lunacy, <laughs> something very sharp is going on. Let me play it, it comes out, you know what I mean? He knows it's funny. Right. But at the same time, you're going, you need treatment. That's what, uh, and then what? Wait till he's pretty boy. Oh, he's off again! Stop! Stop all his references! <laughs> no, Ryan, right, you kid, I love this stuff. I'm gonna get money for this film. Take the room for all <laughs> How about if I took the hair from your skull? Well, you wouldn't have given, you'd be upset, well, wouldn't you? He's done this one before, I know that. Let it soft against your skin. Like the shadow of the wall. God, this is moving, isn't it? Lay it down Here's by my side. side. Till the early morning. <laughs> All I ask is your time. Help me make it through the night. Oh, I don't care what's right or wrong. Oh, I don't try to understand. Let the devil take you more on. Just tonight I need. Friend, yesterday he was dead and gone, and two miles out of sight. It's so sad to be alone. Help me make it through the night. Uh -huh. Could you say? <laughs> <laughs> Right, 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 can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Would you say you were a sentimental man? Would you say beneath this kind of phony exterior of being like a tough guy, you're a deeply sentimental man? I'm like rocking in the tree top. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your time, Mr. Shaw. Don't call us. Don't call Can you come back next week? Yeah, yeah, when we're not here. <laughs> Yeah, we're not here. They want to break on, so. I just met a young lady and um, he's saying, well, you know, so I'll double with better than this. Come on, yeah. mate, next week, I'll sing. Sing and a song. Uh, no, yeah, no, please, right, right. I'll tell you what, I'll never make it through the night. Yeah. But, I will buy that song. I'll do it. I'll start it off. I'll start it off. Listen, he says, if you're all drunk together, there was a time I was in the feet in nothing or the one. When you found me, I was singing like a clown across the street. I can't forget you. 
She says she's got a tune to it, is it right? I mean, there is a melody to it. It's somewhere. Yeah, I've seen that song. 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 I've seen
to my sisters in Spain, I always had to take a bag of tea, PG tips or whatever, they kind of, it's like bacon isn't it, you, don't really, you like a bit of bacon, in America all the street and kind of shit, you go something But I have become the world's most privileged I'm not, sorry. The world's most privileged ponds, when people come and say, what do you want Ronnie, I always say tea bags. Or cheese, or bacon, yeah. or the back, you know. Yeah. It's you don't think it's got nothing to do with your roots in England and the way we ate, and uh, that went in from day one. I even make the tea with bottled water, you know, to make it. What you, what, what, I mean, what do you really miss about it? What can you get here? Is an English thing, that, that, is it tea? Well, the things you can't get, malt loaves. Brown sauce, HP. Sausages? Yeah, yeah, where were you? Oh, they like, yeah, lovely sausages, yeah, yeah, big mistake with it, yeah, yeah. But you can't get good. Marmite? You can't get good. You can't get good. No good cheese. No, because it's very soapy and there's no flavour in it. Oh, right, yeah. A good piece of cheddar is out You can't get cheddar. But I mean, once, nice, strong, once, once again, my, my mate who comes from, from uh, Bristol, he, he, he goes and buys the strongest cheddar that there is. He's a man after my heart, so he can't be strong enough. I go over to France and get cheese. Fresh, 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 fresh. That, 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 that drives people mad with the odour. You know, people go insane because it's so strong. Irishman socks after a week's work. That's the kind of cheese I like. You know that cheese is so powerful. You wrap it and, and lock it in, in a cellophane bag and seal it, and you put it in the fridge, but you can smell it in the bedroom. <laughs> that kind of cheese. That's it. Right? A I said, proper strong cheese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, listen, when, when I was on remand with, with all the gang, yeah. Roy James and I used to try and play tricks on each other. And one day, I was lying in bed reading, and suddenly an awful smell of cocoa come up from somewhere. He looked at me, showed me, up and came the bed. Looked at the big piss pot. Did it, did it, hold me. Got back in the bed again. And then came back in. I've got to get the bottle of it. I had it all over it. We slipped at the bed, slipped at the bed clothes. Very clean sense of smell. And then, I've got to find out. And then, okay, in the end, I've, I've got to tip me bed up to find out what it was. What it was, sure, yeah. And he wiped a little piece of uh, what? What, cheese. What's it called? Um, Strong cheese gorgonzola? Uh, no, it's strong man. You've got a strong cheese. Very, yeah. yeah. Very strong. Yeah. Um, it's French cheese. cheese. No, it, yeah. It's got a creamy a crust on it. A crust on it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I like to see it in my mind's eye. I can't think of it all, but it's a very strong... French cheese. French cheese. Yeah, it's got a crust on it. And you eat the crust as well. Oh, well that, that, that's also like caramel. But camembert's not strong, is it? No, but it is when it's ripe, when it's ripe. And he tucks it under my carny bit. You talk about rotting camembert here. He's taking all the shot and the top of the odour. Is there any more? Go on, anyway, so you put the camembert. Oh, I found it eventually, you know, but yeah. because I couldn't sleep with it. You know, I, I knew I couldn't sleep with it. Nice. Uh, but eventually I found it. Uh, and stuck my hand in the corner of my bed. 
really. Um, so, uh, you know, does that mean you like cheese or you don't like cheese? No, no I, I do like it. Yeah. But there, I have two tables of myself. Yeah. And I, I have it replete with everything out of Harris and, and the, the whole nine yards, you know, yeah, cheese yeah. and everything. All of the whole thing, like cheese. So we, we had the, the open window with the bars on the hospital block. And this Paddy that came on duty one day, he looked in my, my door and he said, Good God, you, you live like kings. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, hello, hello Paddy. I said, have a, have a uh, uh, Carlsberg special. He said, a a Carlsberg special? Yeah. What, on the fourth landing? No, because we were on remand. Oh, right. Oh, that's okay. You just yeah. do what you like. <laughs> then he said, okay. He said, I'll, I'll have it later. He's slipped it down his transfer pocket, you know. Yeah. And then the, the, the bit came back a later on. He said, I, I've got a, 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 spot, a, stop, a soft spot for you guys. He said, and if you want to yeah, help I'm any help in any way, yeah, yeah. he said, I'm prepared to help you. No guns and no drugs. The Irish do have that quality, do they? The Irish do have that quality. Of, uh, yeah. They do. They do indeed. Yeah. yeah. Even Irish screws have that quality. Hey. Well, because it's Irish. And the Celtic, and he made some things. Yeah, <laughs> kind of funny. Morning, Chris. Sorry to hear The Irish have them, haven't they? They do these terrible things at the IRA, the, the other one, they're just shooting and stabbing each other. But, the, but they're kind of lyrical, poetic people. They do that. I, I admit it's all that. They sing songs, and they, you know, and they're, they're, they're lovely, and they're, and they're hospitable. And yet the next day they're blowing up fucking families. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, really? I don't know. Huh? Yeah, Bias was his great friend. No, he was your friend. No, you're. No, because, because oh, you, you boys used to write dirty stories for you. Well, oh, really? Oh, let's hear about the dirty stories. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But Boris, oh, a wife who adored him in pieces. Boris, his wife. Oh yeah, and his Her wife. name is Boris. <laughs> Boris. Oh, let go and his oh, wife yeah. used to come and visit. Oh, I see. Yeah. And Ronnie was one of his best friends. Yeah. And he <laughs> said, can I see the photos of your children, Boris? Boris went, that's number one. And he went, lovely. That's number two. And Ronnie went, well, who's this one then? He said, well, that's number And he said, no, 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 that, that's not number. It doesn't even look like it. Boris went, well, it's mine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ronnie said, I think, you know, she's having an affair. And what happens? No, 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 he's guilty! 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 What happened? What was the end result? Was she having a fair? We were in that brush shop, I know it was the same time. Did he go in there and brush up? But in that brush shop, it wasn't of you. And so what they'd done, they sent me out a little bit of a broom handle. We went down, it was now, stuck in. And there was a notch case, it got down. And so they got me in the, 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 in the brush shop. I don't know, it was you, it was you, it was you. So I think it was you. So sit me down, I've got the brother, but I know I'm here. And as you walk out and exercise, this bunch walked him up the back. <laughs> <laughs> and he went. <laughs> <laughs> Where you walking? Yeah, how did he go? Shoot him, shoot him in the back. Oh, he'll shoot him, shoot him, mate. But he didn't know he'd been standing in that bus in him. Oh, um, no. Um. And he's walking, well, that was a good way. I don't do exercise. And he's walking around and exercise, and I was like, look at him. And he's got his sticking out his back. When he stabbed, he's got his stick. No. So he's walking around, and all of a sudden, someone tapped him. He went on the outside, and I was on the inside. Right. And he stabbed him in the back. And he went, Oh, you know, I was on the outside, so I was on the inside. And he stabbed him on the shoulder. And he went, uh. <laughs> Pull 
And he walks over to a screw and he went <laughs> 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 and, then, and then he collapsed. <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> I was trying to tell him. Well, the so I went to Grand and I went to the ticket. And look, we had what they call group therapy. Yeah. And you have to sit yeah. in a circle and say, talk about your own emotions and yes, yeah. put it that way. And yeah. so, so the doctor said, yeah. oh, come on, is anybody who is as long as he said, I've got to say, and he said, he said, come on, he said, I do a relationship with a dog. I don't have the same dog, what Bruce does. <laughs> The time, so. No, no, yeah. Uh, this is funny. This is the guy's confession that he likes dogs. And the geese went, I had a relationship with a dog. <laughs> oh. oh, so I went. Can I be a cellmate? I said. <laughs> <laughs> he never grasped, he had no walk to his mouth. Said, what, what sort of dog was it? He said in an old station. So I was a good looking dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then the doctor said, So what? what Oh. And I jumped over. And well, you felt angry about that, yeah, because you like dogs, don't you? Yeah. I like dogs. Yeah. It does. It does. Fuck my dog. Yeah. I ripped his head off. And then, uh, <laughs> and then you shit in a hole. He ripped yeah. his head off and yeah. shat in a hole. Anyway, I was allowed to do more group for me. And uh. from then they sent me a pool ball because they fought. Uh, mistaken, me. And they yeah. took bits oh, of your brain. Fucking mistake that one. Oh, right. Yeah. In, in, in Broadmoor, they took bits of your brain out, didn't they? Took me no, they, 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 they give me they took brain. bits of your brain out. They did experiments and took some of your brain out. <laughs> didn't they? Well, Roy, this is your life. We've got those bits of brain here. <laughs> and we're going to go. Come on, man. Come in with the brain. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. Here they go. Your brain! Your brain is back! Open it up, we're going to put it back! <laughs> Let's hear it for Roy's brain! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ready? We can move it away. Jack, come on! 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 This is very serious. He was, he was strapped down and they shoved these big fucking needles under his cheekbone ear. Through the eyes. back of the eye, yeah. And took lumps out of his fucking brain. Fuck that. And they gave him this weird drug that they hadn't tested. Never mind and what the, blood and 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 that, They did it to him. And from that day, all of them were losing. I don't fucking know. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no. It's done. It's not my fault. It's done. It's done. Well, I think it's a convincing argument, for <laughs> a different kind of medicine. <laughs> Don't do the glassware. <laughs> no, it's just tweaking up for you to be bright. Oh. You wonder why no one invited you. No, no. no! He's done it again. Hey. Law of averages, you're going to cut yourself soon, too. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I think you should change Dodgy to Slick. Yeah. Who's Slick? Slick Dave. Or, or Slick Dangerous. Dave. A bit dangerous. No, dangerous, dangerous Dave. Dave. No, 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 no. I know Dangerous people though. Don't <laughs> <laughs> be clever Dave. I'm oh, well, we're coming out. I think Dodgy Dave. Uh, Dave you, you, no, you're doing too well now to be dodgy. That's the problem, isn't it? But the whole image is dodgy. That's, that's the point. Unless you're a registered childminder and I'm misunderstood. He's a registered childminder, actually. Yeah. Looks like me. And he specialises in animals. <laughs> and disturbed children, honestly. And disturbed, but they're very big kids. I, mean, and, I have one of my clients here. And, and disturbed children, then. Destination, I've, 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 I've got, I've got to everyone Destiny. laughing. <laughs> no, I, I treat you, you won't believe, but I'm under his care. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, and I'll be happy, so, so I, 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 I've done this, what you told me. Can we have your comments about being released in the community? I'm taking you out all, right. that's what I said, I'll get a blank from it, I'll take you out first, that's what I said. Now, I was, uh, <laughs> Wherever it was, it was going to be memorable. Oh, he said that we would ride above. Oh, no, love me. Anyway, drink none of it. We put things in it. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know what I'm over drinking, he said, because it's time to make me. Sleeps in the kissy with a fake hair. Two old ladies sitting in the sand. He's going to wish him that the other was a man. That's one song. He's consistent. Oh, he's oh, back down the line. Do you know what I mean? Back down the line, everyone consistent. We're rocking in the dream. Chops sold a day long. We're rocking and I'm popping and I'm singing a song. Horn and the bird. Sleep to say. Tweet, tweet, tweet. And I'm on my way. Rock and roll. And rock and roll. Oh, you love it. Yeah. No more glasses. Stop eating them. Happy birthday to you. That's right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Molly. Happy birthday to you. But he's a Johnny for real. And he's a Johnny for real. Yeah, no, but he's 
Himself onto the show, so please give it up for Mr. Nick Reynolds. Yay! Hello, Nick. How are you? Good morning. I'm uh, a bit knackered, but fine. Good, good. Okay. Uh, now you've got an exhibition called Cons to Icons coming up on yeah. November the first. What's the exhibition about? Um, well, basically, the exhibition that comprises of uh, bronze cast. These are all live castings. You know, straws up the nose, plaster over the head. This is uh, this one's actually Ronnie Biggs. Wow! And yeah. also portrait uh, photographs by my partner, a guy called Anthony Oliver. This is this is my father here, and this is a guy called Freddie Foreman. But um, essentially, the exhibition is about um, the phenomenon, if you like, of how people that have been vilified by the media on one hand are then suddenly fated on the celebrity circuit, and this is something that seems to be coming very much to the fore at the moment. Okay. Um, now, is it glorifying crime, this whole thing, or is that what you're looking at? Um, no, but what I'm doing really is I'm just sort of uh, exploring this kind of, uh, this happening at the moment that uh, the in entertainment industry seems to be making a lot of money from crime. There's mm. this nostalgia thing for the 60s, um, and now more than ever before, criminals seem to be cashing in, or ex-criminals seem to be cashing in on books, yeah. films. Etc. Etc. You know. Okay. Um, now, what are your film? Your feelings about the books? That that I mean, we've had the craze film. Um, yeah. I think just about anyone who's involved with the craze or any kind of part of that seems to have kind of had a book out. Um, are they good books? What do you feel? Are they cashing in? Are, or are the books actually of any merit? Um, I think so, some of the books I think are are, are of merit. A lot of them uh, are ghost written. Um, but I, I think. On one hand, it's rather odd, and it's a contradiction that these people who have been sort of put in prison, i.e. Uh, put under the carpet of society, are then kind of dragged out, dusted off and put on a, on a platform. That side of it, the glamorising side of it, I think is a little bit reckless, but I do think these people have got something to say. You know, they've mm. been, a lot of them have been through the, the prison system, and they're in a position, I think, to sort of offload their experiences. And I think this is something that's overlooked. Uh, I think the pub publishers tend to just think that we want to sell a product. Yeah. So let's just have something and a, bit, a few bank robberies, a few knifings. They don't generally um, let the book go that way, I feel. Um, because, so I mean, some of the books do have a sort of a rehabilitation type uh, feel to them, but not all of them. Because Frankie Fraser, he actually did, he did a sharp in Edinburgh, didn't he? Mad Frankie Fraser spent 40 years yeah. in prison. Actually did like, a stand-up yeah. show in Edinburgh. Uh, well, he, he's um, he's very curious, um, mad Frank. He's been certified three times, and uh, his nickname was the dentist for uh, extracting people's teeth with gold-plated pliers. Um, but he's and he got did a stand-up show. Nice. He does, yeah, he, do, he does a stand-up <laughs> show. But funnily enough, a lot of people go and see him, and he suspends belief because, um, pretty much like lock, stock, and barrel, they get away with kind of quite serious subjects. Is um, they diffuse it with humour. And he is incredibly sharp-witted and very, very funny. And you'll be laughing along at Sonic one moment while the rest of your brain is saying, mm -hmm. but, but that's absolutely dreadful. But he does it with, in a way which is very, very funny. OK, cool. Right, let's move on. Your father is Bruce Reynolds, mastermind behind the great train robbery. Uh, <laughs> 